Go and try your luck. Test me in again, we let it rain. Please don't start us up. Got that black and white, they ain't game. It's the office up. Please don't search us, we don't got a thing. Tell her, park it up. Then that be poking up them jeans. Up and sparking up. Like the fireworks, I keep the flame. Heard you barking up. This the wrong tree, I got the strain. See, I'm charging up. They can keep up, got a Okay, you guys, I'm gonna put you on. If you want the highest quality jerseys at the lowest price, you have to go to Pristine Jerseys. I get all of my jerseys and shorts from them. They are 100% legit and the quality is truly amazing. Link in description, use code Dirk for a discount. I know you guys want this behind the back hop jumper, so I'm gonna give it to you and show you how to do it. I'm also gonna be giving you guys all of the best hop jumpers you can use in this game. And then finally, after all that, we will get into the Space Crater badge. Okay. So to do the behind the back hop jumper, you need Cade Cunningham. To do this is actually very easy. You can only do this to your weak hand side. So I am right-handed, so I'm always gonna start with the ball in my right hand. All you do is you hold turbo, AKA the right trigger the entire time. Then you're going to hold your right stick left. And that's how you do it. Again, very easy. You're holding your right stick left while holding turbo at the same time. And I am shooting my timing with the right stick on these hop jumpers. But there's a problem. This hop jumper is not that good. I do not recommend using it unless you just want that behind the back hop jumper to look cool and get a few cooks here and there. Let me show you the actual best hop jumpers in the game. These are in no particular order, but the first one is normal and you you can get this on literally every build and it has a good hop to both sides. The next one is Paul George. It has a really good weak hand hop jumper, but for the dominant hand, it's okay, but still pretty good. Next is Kevin Herter, and it has a crazy good, probably the best weak hand hop jumper in the game, but the dominant hand, it's not good at all. So, you know, pick your poison. The one that I use and what I personally think is the best hop jumper in the game is LeBron. It's good on both sides and it's easy to time on both sides. And it has this cool, unique, like step back that you guys saw in the clips and this is super easy to time i don't know why but it just is and it has the look you three and to troll people with this is hilarious bro and the best one for six five and under wait 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 bro why does 2k change the lighting in the gatorade facility bro like i can't see in that one spot on the court anyway the best one for six five and under is davion mitchell it's the best by far going to the weekend that hop jumper is insane bro and for those people that don't know how to activate the hop jumpers, I'll explain really quick. Let's say you're going left, you're holding turbo the whole time. And while you're running, you're just going to pull and hold down or down diagonal left on your right stick. And you're gonna time your release with that. And if you're going right, it's the exact same thing. Now, that's just the basics of the hop jumpers. If you wanna get advanced, you can move and hold your right stick in any direction while holding turbo. So go test those out in the Gatorade facility. All right, what you guys clicked on the video for? Our first game isn't against any scrubs. Like they both shoot over 50%. Like this is a good test for the Space Crater badge. On this build, this is like the first build I made. I did not like this build anymore i will leave the link to my current build in the description but anyways the build that i'm on has space creator on hall of fame it has a 94 3 and a 79 mid so let's see what's up so they're gonna miss their first shot he's gonna hit me i'm gonna triple threat cheese into the screen they both come to me and i'm gonna hit him for the wide open easy mid-range jumper the thing about space creator is it's such a slept on badge and it's such a niche thing and not a lot of people really take advantage of this badge but the people who do especially at the elite level they get an edge over their defenders let's get back into the game triple threat spin into the space creator hall of fame wide open three green now that i made that shot i am psychologically winning this game by a mile now that the defender sees that they're like bro okay so i need to like play up super high no matter what or he's gonna hit that tough shot gonna spin again and hit the space creator this time in the corner i have noticed that space creator plus corner specialist is a really good stack and it's a lot easier to hit these type of shots in the corners this shot right here in this moment i knew this badge you know it had something special to it like bro what like i that was open like i feel like because it was so it, it was such an unorthodox shot that, it, that they didn't even know what i was doing that they like forgot to put their hands up or something like it's like this shot right here and you guys saw this clip in the intro it's like that because nobody shoots these type of shots the defender doesn't know like what to do like is he actually about to shoot the shot off that and they're they just like don't think to put their hands up to stuff like that and watch this right here 
I'm gonna space gray him into the screen and I'm gonna get a wide open three off of it. If you can utilize space creator like this, it's a game changer and you're gonna be super, super hard to guard. I recommend for starters to try this out in your takeover because it's obviously a lot easier to make. But bro, I'm just cooking up right here, you know, doing all these moves. Space creator again, bro. We are up 17 to zero just off of space creator shots. I am six for six from the field and three for three from downtown. Now this badge isn't just some God tier badge because with a little contest, it's a lot harder to make these shots than a normal jump shot as you guys saw right there. So now I gotta get a uh, stop right here and bro, correct me if I'm wrong, but does this guy from a distance not look like he is wearing a Spider-Man mask? I was confused the whole game, bro. And then after I realized it was just a hat and some glasses, we're eventually gonna get the stop and I'm gonna screw up what I was trying to do and shoot a terrible contested fade they're gonna get the rebound but we're gonna get it right back i'm gonna try a space creator shot yet again i was open but i missed i missed time my shot but we're gonna get it back again and this time i'm gonna make it from deep in game two i'm gonna talk more about the reality of this badge so make sure you guys stick around for game two now of course we gotta end the game with a clip so come here so i can clip you come on my guy come on that's great you guys know the color of course or it wouldn't be it wouldn't be in the video okay went off game one let's get into game two all right he's on a relatively new build he's a 91 overall and he shoots 66 percent from three this is an opportunity for you guys you are seeing my new 6'9 demigod build unreleased first gameplay for the first time the first play we're going to start off with the contact dunk going left okay now watch this is how you utilize space crater i'm going to go left again he thinks i'm going to the rim whoop hop back green that is the best time to use space creator in my opinion when like okay uh i'm gonna think of an example let's say that you're running to the rim a lot off a specific move and oh my god bro like that that lebron step back i'm telling you about is so glitchy nobody can guard it it's too unexpected anyway the example is let's say you keep going to the rim off of the same move and they're gonna expect the rim run bro when they least expect it hop back you're gonna be wide open bro but i wanna i wanna talk about the reality of this badge i really think you just need it on gold and it more depends on your rating rather than the badge level like if i have an 88 mid which is what i have on this build and when i first had space creator on bronze i really didn't notice a difference like i feel like as long as the rating is there i feel like the badge level doesn't actually matter that much it of course helps but i feel like it only helps a lot when the rating isn't that high for example on my other build i only had a 79 midi and it was really easy to hit it in the mid because i had space creator on hall of fame so i missed a 42 percent contested that's on me like i said it's really hard to hit contested uh space creator shots compared to a normal jump shot he's gonna try to dunk on me that's obviously no we, 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 we're not gonna let that happen over here so i'm gonna get the ball back and you know i'm just gonna you know i'm gonna cook up do a c bro like bro i'm watching this back live and i didn't even expect me to do a space crater shot and that is why they are so op they're just so unexpected sometimes but anyway this is very important i don't want you to do a space crater as your first option there is no comp players that shoot a space crater shot as your first option especially when you're in the mid-range if you have the opportunity to shoot a fading mid-range jump shot or a space crater shot i want you to shoot the fading mid your make percentage is higher and right there i tried the lee u3 obviously we did not get it down if you are not the most uh comp player the best time to use space crater is in takeover take advantage of that it is super super hard to guard when you have takeover because it's gonna be really hard for you guys to miss so if you're not the most elite player that is my advice for you you will not regret it try to take advantage of it and let's end the game with the you three you know the color bro if you want tips how to make every jump shot in this game that video is on screen hope you guys enjoyed this one drop a like for me if you did have a good day go out <laughs>